Today on Vic's Tips is creamy guacamole. Delicious fresh avocados smashed to make the most perfect dip for chips. It's easy to make at home. Let me show you how. It doesn't take much to get this together. First tip of the day is to put a damp cloth down underneath your cutting board so it's nice and sturdy and doesn't slip on you. These are the ingredients. We have jalapeno peppers. Wait, I also have serrano peppers. I'm not gonna use them, but if you wanted to make it more spicy, that's what you're gonna go for. A lime, onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, and don't forget your garbage bowl, and nice fresh avocados. You know your avocados are good when they're soft to touch, and the stem is still in it. And today's Tuesday, so if you wanted to make it for the Super Bowl, you wanna get your avocados now, because they're probably gonna be hard when you get them, and you need them to sit on the counter a couple days till they get to the perfect ripeness. I'm gonna start by cutting the onion. I forgot to mention you need cilantro too. Whoops. I'm gonna use a half of a just a regular yellow onion. Traditionally, I believe it's a white onion. Whichever one you choose, or you could even use a red, but whichever one you choose to do, you don't want too much, maybe a quarter of a cup. So I'm actually only gonna use half of it. And we're gonna mince it. A small dice. You could call it a mince if you wish. That looks like enough. I'll save this for later. And I'm even gonna go a little further by really getting it super tiny. I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Same with your garlic. I'm gonna give it a good smash. And the peel comes off real easy. I actually have a garlic press here and I don't usually use it and I'll show you why. You put in your garlic and then you press it out. I love that it's so teeny tiny like that. but I don't like it because of this. You always get all this stuff here. <laughs> and it, it honestly, it, to me, that's a pain. And I think it's a waste. So let's get not use this. Instead, I'm just going to make it really teeny tiny. You just rock your knife back and forth and keep going until it's, I don't know, minced. <laughs> mince, mince, mince. You could even go as far as making a paste, which I've done in um, one of my videos. I don't really remember which one. But I'm not going to do it today, and I will show you why. So I have my garlic and my onion in the bowl. I'm gonna take my lime, press it out just to get the juices going. And put that juice right in the bowl. Okay, that's, out. that's hurting my hand. <laughs> I need assistance. Being a baker for so many years, my hands don't work like they used to. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Get that lime in there. Now this was totally worth it. 
this is a good gadget to have. Look at all that juice that comes out. That's what we need. Just gonna stir that around in the juices. And the juices, what they're gonna do is just calm down the onion, the garlic, and just calm down a bit there. Now for the peppers, I'm gonna use jalapeno. You don't even have to use a pepper if you don't want. But I like just a little bit of heat, not too much. I'm gonna take out the stems, or the seeds rather. And not all of them. My son says I don't cook things spicy enough, so. I'm gonna leave some in. So I'm not gonna use a spoon this time, just so I can have a little bit more heat. You can omit the pepper if you want no heat. You could soak the pepper in some water and vinegar, so you'll get the flavor of the pepper without the heat. It's really your choice. This is your guacamole. Make it any way you like. The important thing is, is to just chop it nice and teeny tiny. You notice a theme here. That's a big jalapeno. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna put that in with the lime. Avocado time. You slice your avocado in half. You twist it and then you see the pit. Just pop it out right in the bowl. Quick. I'm gonna do two. Scrape out the flesh. I'm going to use a little cilantro. Again, as much or as little as you like. I'm not a huge cilantro fan, so I'm really not going to put that much in. That's probably good for me. The rest of my family may like it a lot, but hey, I'm making this guacamole, so. Pour some salt and pepper. It's really all you need. I'm going to start smushing it with a fork. tomato. Now traditionally it, the tomato you would use would be a Roma tomato and the simple reason for that is a regular tomato has a lot of this juice. Don't happen to have a Roma tomato. I'm not going to go out and buy one just for this. So you can use any tomato and again with the theme we're just going to make sure we chop it small. And I put the tomatoes in last because I don't want it to be too juicy or liquidy and I don't want the tomato, pe tomato pieces to fall apart. So I just kind of like to do it last. And then what I'll do, again, to keep the juice down, the liquid down, I'm gonna pat it with a paper towel. Oops, I missed a piece right here. Do. 
Now at this point, we're just gonna stir it in together. That looks delicious. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Taste for salt and pepper. Mmm, perfect. And then into your pretty bowl for serving. Now remember, if you want this for the Super Bowl, it's Tuesday. Make sure you have your cados by Tuesday, Wednesday. Otherwise, they won't be ready. Mmm. Yum. That's good stuff. So easy. Make it at home. So much better when you make it fresh. I hope you like my video because I sure love making them. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out my salsa recipe. I'll see you next time.